Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the time when I auditioned for Jamiroquai. It was, it was 1998. The band that I was in had just lost their record deal and I had an agent that was getting me guitar work. I was doing some session stuff and some TV work and it was all going quite nice, but my favorite band at the time was a band called Jamiroquai. Now, at the time, Jamiroquai were one of the biggest bands on the planet. They'd just done the soundtrack for the Godzilla movie, which was a massive movie. And as I said, Jamiroquai were my favorite band. So I got this phone call from my agent and I couldn't believe it. I've been chosen out of, I think it was five or six different guitar players to go up to JK's house into his studio to audition on that day. The reason that I got the chance to audition was because there was a bit of turmoil in the band. Apparently in the press, they were saying that um, some of the band members weren't happy with the way that they were treated and a few of them left the band, namely the, uh, the bass player, Stuart Zender, and the guitar player. Now, I really, really wanted this gig. This for me would have been the ultimate gig. I'd be playing the biggest stadiums in the world and playing with what I considered to be the best band in the world. The audition was about five days later, and I can tell you, I didn't sleep and I didn't go out. For those five days, all I did was practice Jamiroquai songs. I've got five days to learn the songs, and that's the first problem, because all I did was not go out and just practice these songs. The exact arrangements that were on the albums, I just went over and over and over it, because I was desperate. I wanted this gig so badly. The day of the audition came round and I was nervous as hell. So I had to get in my car, got my amp, my guitars, put them in, and I had to drive up to Buckinghamshire, which is where JK lives. Now, JK's house is this unbelievably gorgeous mansion in Buckinghamshire that had uh, an amazing studio in it. So I turned up to the studio, I pulled into his driveway, got my gear out of the car, went into the studio, and the band were there and JK was there. Now, there's a saying, never meet your heroes. And I can honestly say that that is true. The band were absolutely lovely. They were the nicest bunch of guys that I've ever met. JK, on the other hand, <laughs> is not, was not, maybe had an off day, but he wasn't particularly pleasant. And that didn't set my nerves at ease. Let's put it that way. I went into the studio. Uh, the guitarist before was just finishing and he sounded amazing he was fantastic i think he was the guy that actually got the job and there was an amp set up and the idea was you plug your guitar straight into that amp now me who'd been so over rehearsed and had been so precise about getting the right sounds on my amp i had a mizubuki mark 4 at the time which is a four channel amp and i'd set up everything on that amp to be exactly as i wanted it for for that audition now what I should have done is to walk into that studio, really cool, got my guitar, plugged into the amp that was there because that was what they were used to and just played the songs, but I didn't. So the first thing I did was create a problem, which I should never ever have done. So they were recording all of the auditions so they could listen back afterwards. And I'd set up my amp, I wanted my amp, I had to use my amp, I was so fixated, I couldn't move from that thought, I had to use my amp which didn't improve my nerves at all and probably riled up the engineer and the guys that were helping with the setup. So now I'll come to the next mistake. I've been told about this audition five days before and I would practiced and practiced and practiced these songs over and over and over again. Now, if anyone knows the band Jamiroquai, they'll know what amazing musicians these guys are and they were proper good they were amazing now i turned up to the audition been so fixated on the arrangement and the parts that i had to play that i couldn't move i could not get past what i'd learned so i could not move with the band we're playing through one of the songs and i'm thinking in my head i'm playing with jamiroquai i couldn't believe it this was like a dream come true and jk looks over and gives me a nod to do a solo now as I said, I'd been so over rehearsed with the material that I've been told to learn that I could not move away from the arrangement that I'd learned. Now, when he gave me the nod to do the solo, what I should have done was to switch on a drive sound and just done a solo, but I didn't. All I did was I looked at him with sheer panic in my eyes, looked down at my guitar and just carried on playing the rhythm stuff. 
Now I messed up that audition and it's one of the biggest regrets of my life as I would have been playing at the time in one of the biggest bands in the world, but it wasn't to be. So just to show how fate shapes your life, a couple of weeks after that, I was still licking my wounds from this audition and I was actually thinking of giving up guitar because I just thought I'd just lost the biggest opportunity in my life. And as I said, a couple of weeks after that, I was asked to become the in-house producer and songwriter for this record company. And that's where I met my two business partners today. So in hindsight, what would I have done different? Well, I think number one, I'd have been a lot more relaxed. Number two, I wouldn't have overlearned the songs. So I was able to move with the band. And number three, I would have used the amp provided but I've got the opportunity to play with Jamiroquai. Now, do you think Jamiroquai are saying that they've got the opportunity to play with me? I doubt it. I really hope you guys got something out of that story. I've probably got a few more actually, if you want to hear any more. Let me know if you do want to hear any more in the comments below. If you did get something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio ads. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time.